Hi Kickstarter backers. Here's a little video on how to uh, how to use your RK1 robot with um, your iOS device. So here's your RK1 robot that you should have received by now. And we have a switch over here uh, that configures the, the Wi-Fi state. So in the upward configuration as it is now is set up as an ad hoc connection which means it can um, it acts as a router for your uh, iOS device to connect to and uh, in the lowest state it means it it will need to connect to um, a, another device so for now uh, we're gonna push it in the upward uh, state so that we can connect to it okay and uh, this is the power button so I've switched on the power button what we can see once the power button is on um, we can um, see the lights blinking and that it's alive and it's it's working okay so after we've done that we then need to go to our Wi-Fi and what we'll see is that we'll find uh, the RK1 robot and what we need to do is click on it and we know it's connected after we see um, that it's resolved an IP address and what we can see here is we can see that you know it's found it and it's connected and it's got an IP address Okay, so the next thing I need to do is um, I need to go to my RK1 app. So we have three three apps: RK1 robot to control the robot, RK1 data to read data of the robot, and RK1 digital, which allows us to control the state of the digital pins. So first, I'm going to start with RK1 robot, and just a brief overview of the app. We can see here we've got the um, um, the pin. Um, the IP number for the robot, the pin is connected to, and the current battery level. Now, to control the RK1 robot, it's quite easy and simple. We just swipe down to make it go down, swipe up to make it go up, double tap to make it stop. To make it rotate, we swipe left, and we can see that the robot rotates. And uh, controlling the robot is, is as simple as that. Just swipe and it will do what we what it's supposed to do. Okay. Uh, so now let's go have a look at the other apps. So we have RK1 data. And the data app just reads the, uh, the analog pin values. The battery level is there. And we can also see the, 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 the state of the digital pins. Okay, and then finally RK1 Digital, and uh, I'm just going to bring this close in so we can see it. So now um, this shows us the the four available digital pins that are not being used in the device that we can control. So it's pin 10, 11, 12, and 13. Now pin 13 is connected to uh, an LED. So if I change the state, we can see that the that that green LED is uh, on and if I change its state again we can see it's off and then on again and it's as simple as that thank you so much for your support guys